what's essential and what's not. This is important for us to evaluate because if you want to have the energy or the time, if you want to think about it that way, for the most important things, you've got to let some other things go. I've noticed in the English language, a lot of people are dropping certain words. For example, you're at a conference and you decide to go out for dinner afterwards and people will say, hey, do you want to join? Not will you join us, but just join. In yoga class this morning, she said the same thing. Instead of talking about looking at the back wall, it was look at wall, look at window. I thought that was kind of strange. So there I am in Shavasana, the very last pose, and you yogis will understand. This is a time where we should be letting go of our thoughts. And I'm just thinking about that. What is essential? What is not? What can we let go that's holding a lot of time, you know, taking up a lot of time or holding on to energy that we need to release so we have it for the most important things. So ask yourself that important question today. What can you let go? What's not essential? Maybe it's an activity that you're doing that really isn't important. Let it go. Maybe it's a thought that you're dwelling on, something that gets you away from the most important tasks, the most important people, the fun things in life. So let it go. This is Dr. Joe with another Reboot Minute, encouraging you to stay energized so you can get more done and have more fun.